much you can count on. This is WTVM News Leader 9, celebrating 65 years. Sponsored by Montlick & Associates, Columbus Injury Attorneys. Good Friday evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us tonight on the News at 5. I'm Rosalind Giles. News Litter 9 is on the road again. Barbara and Jason live at Fort Benning for their annual Oktoberfest at Uchi Creek. Hey, guys. Hey, Rosalind. Hey, yeah, Ros we're, we're, we're having fun out here October. We're hearing <laughs> some nice German music right yeah, now. Yeah, lots of people out here so far today, even though I think Friday is the, the lowest uh, uh, um, number of folks that come out to visit. We've got Saturday and Sunday as the Oktoberfest continues here at Uchi Creek and Fort Benning. And it's happening all weekend going uh, through Sunday, and uh, the cost is only $5 for adults. And uh, if you're 17 and under, you get in free accompanied by an adult. Uh, we're smelling some great food yeah. out here. Uh, I just tasted a funnel cake. They got a sausage out here, lots of games and rides for yeah. the kids and the whole family. So uh, really, you know, it's it's a great event for the weekend. Yeah, and as you mentioned, you know, they've got the rides, they've got the food. It's a big German festival, really the premier fall festival here at Fort Benning. And as we mentioned, it continues through Sunday, so the weather today, Today is great, so what can we expect for the rest of the weekend? Let's send things over now to meteorologist Lauren Linehan. She's out here with us at Oktoberfest. So, Lauren, so what can folks expect this weekend? Yeah, the weather is great here at Oktoberfest today. Overall, we're seeing pretty seasonable weather. It's going to be a little warmer, though, as we go into the overnight hours. We are overall still running pretty warm despite the clouds that moved in today. So we're looking at mostly cloudy skies as we go into the evening, kind of some filtered sunshine. We did happen to see a lot of us still get into the upper 70s, so that's fairly seasonable. But as we go into the overnight hours, that's when we're definitely going to see a change than what we've seen the past couple of mornings. You know, it had been a little bit more on the cool and crisp side. Uh, tomorrow morning, not so much. But why is that? Because we've got another cold front coming through. So tomorrow, because that cold front is coming through, we could see the potential for a few showers here and there. So it's not an overwhelming rain chance, but it's there. So you want to factor that into your plans if you're going to any college football games or, of course, coming out to Fort Benning and experiencing Oktoberfest like we are tonight. So we're going to have all the details on that cold front that we're watching coming in and rain chances for the weekend and the cooler air to follow coming up in a bit. All right, thanks very much, Lauren. And, uh, you know, uh, we're back here at Oktoberfest. And this is kind of the culmination of the whole, you know, it's been 100 mm -hmm. years uh, today that Fort Benning uh, was, was born. And uh, it's the <laughs> birthday. And part of that celebration is uh, soldiers got a chance to participate in this uh, training trench today back from back in World War II. A pretty cool thing. Yeah, yeah th they've been celebrating this centennial all year long. And this is the actual birthday day. And our Chandler Morgan got to talk to uh, go and, and take a look at that trench. And Chandler, it's amazing to know that soldiers actually trained in this type of situation uh, all those years ago. Yeah, Jason, Barbara, that's right. I mean, it truly is a piece of history that we have right here on Fort Benning. It dates back to the 1920s, and it was used to train infantry soldiermen. And now they were rediscovered just a year ago and restored. So you can see from the video that we shot today at the ribbon cutting ceremony, the trenches are about seven feet deep. And when they were found, they eroded to about two feet deep. So now here's what's cool about those trenches specifically at Fort Benning. The clay content of the soil was so ideal that the Benning trenches actually withstood erosion fairly well. They had to build a trench training section here to train infantry leaders in trench warfare. For three and a half years, they had fought in the trenches of France and Belgium on the Western Front. They weren't sure what the next combat would be, so they were forced to dig a set of trenches. And only about six trench systems remain on U.S. military installations, and Fort Benning's trench system is the third largest across the United States. Now, as you can see here behind me, we still have a lot of stuff to show you coming up here at Oktoberfest. Right here where we are is where all of the music is, as I'm sure you can hear here behind me. So coming up at 5.30, we're actually going to talk to a local president of a German club here. Back to you. Thank you. And you've got uh, lots of events going on this weekend, right? Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of events going on. In fact, there's a keg tapping ceremony that's happening uh, in just uh, the next little bit. And Bavarian yodelers out here. Uh, stein hoisting, which I, I heard from our producer <laughs> back at WTVM. You fill a, a stein, a liter full of beer, and you hold it out in front of you. And you just hold it until you can't 
you know, hold it, hold anymore. it anymore, right? Do out you there. ever get to drink it? I, I maybe at the end, <laughs> if you win, perhaps. Uh, so, but, and all kinds of there's a keg throwing contest <laughs> this weekend. So, you know, I love of all of the costumes and all of the yeah. outfits. I mean, everybody's lots of folks in authentic uh, wear, German wear. So it's, it's beautiful, and it, as we said, lots going on out here. Also, this week is wrapping up the, the final day of the uh, sniper competition here at Fort Benning. They celebrate it. Uh, with an award ceremony at the National Infantry Museum earlier. Yeah, and Newsletter Nights, Maya Johnson was out there to see who took home the title. It's been an intense week for 32 man teams from all over the world competing in Fort Bending Sniper competition. Staff Sergeant Jonathan Roque and Staff Sergeant Brandon Kelly are not only taking home the titles of best sniper this year, but won last year's competition too. This two man team are Fort Bending's very own. They take this competition as another training opportunity to be able to do the real job of combat. Our, our training philosophy, our competing philosophy has always been the same. You know, it's expectation management, you go into it and, you know, just try to get some points on the board. Be consistent, 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 consistent. It always translates to, accumulatively, a good score. The competition is all about testing their mental and physical combat skills. They were judged on target detection, movement techniques, and long-range skills. This is the 18th year for the competition, and snipers tell me they're already ready to do it again. And there were a total of seven awards given out, including the best international team from Sweden. Reporting in Columbus, Maya Johnson for News Leader 9. All right, Maya, thank you. And as uh, we mentioned, this year's sniper competition, extra special for Fort Benning uh, after falling on the exact date of the uh, centennial anniversary. So making it even more special here. Yeah, it's really busy weekend. We had the trench thing going on and, and we had a, a run earlier today. We're going to tell you about six o'clock and also mm -hmm. uh, this going on the sniper competition you now here at the Oktoberfest. I got all kinds of children's activities and competitions tomorrow, that keg tossing contest. And, you know, we're, I mean, we're really enjoying this, this German music yeah. and uh, kind of entertaining us and, and all the food and everything. Yeah, the food definitely is, uh, is, <laughs> is a wait. plus for sure. So, uh, so much going on out here, Roslyn. For now, though, we're going to send things back to you in studio with the very latest on today's news. Rosalyn? And welcome back to Oktoberfest here at Uchi Creek. Uh, this is uh, Fort Benning's premier fall event, and they've got authentic German food and music and Bavarian yodelers and all kinds of great things and events for the whole family out here. Yeah, games for all the kids, and it's starting to feel a little bit like fall, so you got it hay is. rides and carnival rides, that kind of thing. It's only $5 for adults, free for 17 and under, so it's a it's a great deal to hear uh, some of this great entertainment yeah. and, and German food. The food is smelling so good. Yes, I think I'm smelling like something sweet. I'm not quite sure what it is, but <laughs> definitely uh, smells good. Yeah, and here to talk to us more about this uh, great event, Oktoberfest, is Al Jelano, the Director of Family Morale, uh, Welfare and Recreation. Thank you That's so much, Al, for joining right. us. Thank you for, for coming out. We're yeah. really excited to have you. Yeah, and we have been talking about a lot of the things that uh, we have, you guys have to offer out here, so tell us about the, the big reason why folks should come out here to Oktoberfest. Well, this is about as authentic as it gets, yeah. Barbara. We really try to make this thing uh, just like if you were visiting in Germany, we've got a fest tent that seats a thousand people, uh, kids areas. Um, if you want to experience uh, Germany at a fest, yeah. this is where you need to be. Wow. Any any evening, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. And how important is it for Fort Benning and here at the Uchi Creek uh, uh, campground to, to host something like this for the community to come out and, and be a, you know, a nice partnership? Well, you know, this is our 100th anniversary, and I think it's really important that we uh, recognize that celebration with Columbus, and we do this for our soldiers, obviously, but also the Columbus community, and uh, it's really extremely important. And right. you want folks to know just how family-friendly this is, and we only have a few seconds, but it's something for the whole family, including the pets. And oh, the, absolutely. And the animals, right? we, we have uh, <laughs> tomorrow, if you got a dachshund, you can bring your dachshund and come out. Uh, family is in our name. It's yeah. important that we do that. We have an entire children's section, section back there. And uh, bring all the kids. We love them. Yeah, not uh, just about beer. Yeah. No, it's not about beer. I love your beer. And he's trying to get me to compete in the uh, keg throwing contest keg, tomorrow ab afternoon. So absolutely. we'll see I'd about like that. I'd like to see that. Right. I'd like to see that. <laughs> thank, thank you, Thank you so much. Thank we you. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah. All, all right. That's going to do it for us for this half hour. But we're back with much more in just a couple of minutes. The news at 530 coming up for you uh, next. We'll see you on the road, Oktoberfest. 
And we're going to take you back now live to Uchi Creek where Barbara and Jason are for Oktoberfest. Hey guys. Hey, Rosalind, and let me tell you, the music, the food, just the authentic costumes out here. It is such a beautiful uh, Oktoberfest, the beautiful weather, too, for tonight. And if you and the family are looking for something to do this weekend, definitely a place to be. We're here live at Uchi Creek on Fort Benning. You just saw some of the costumes, some of the mm -hmm. gentlemen standing right next to us here. I want to borrow some of their hats. they got some <laughs> great carnival rides out here, Ferris wheel, and uh, just like you're talking about, we're smelling the food. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so it, it smells great. And also one thing to note for you, um, you actually don't have to get on the post. You don't have to have a post access to get to this event. You can actually come on Highway 165 entrance the way we came to Uchi yeah. Creek. So uh, it's a definitely a great event for the whole family. And hopefully the weather will be nice yeah. this weekend it, as well. It, the tickets are just $5 yeah. for adults and, and everyone under 17 is free. Is yeah. that, That's right. And so the weather has been beautiful today and perhaps looking even better for the weekend yeah meteorologist lauren lenahan and joining us now live here oktoberfest and uh, uh you don't have the authentic uh, german wear on like like we don't lauren <laughs> gotta get her some Well, you know, it's been a fairly seasonable day here across the Chattahoochee Valley. Not feeling too Grace. bad. We saw a lot of us have Who's highs right around uh, 80 degrees, if not topping out in the upper 70s. Certainly helped yeah. to have some okay. clouds. And we still have some Looks clouds like. in place here at Oktoberfest. So what we're going to be seeing as we go into the evening, even more clouds streaming in into the overnight hours. That's ahead of a cold front coming through. But let's just check those high temperatures that we saw today. A lot of us managed to top out right around 80 80 degrees, but for tomorrow, not going to be quite as warm as we have more clouds moving in as that front moves through. Now there's a little bit of cooler air towards the Atlanta Metro, kind of in North and Central Georgia, 65 in Atlanta, but 80 over in Birmingham, 73 in Auburn. If you have managed to see some clouds today, that's really going to help to keep your temperatures cooler. We're going to continue to see some clouds streaming in as we go into the evening. But the big story for this weekend, have your WTVM weather app because we're going to be tracking some showers for tomorrow. And then as we go into later in the weekend, much cooler air coming through. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy me one of these pretzels that I got here at Oktoberfest. I'll have your full forecast. Oh, that, that pretzel looked really good. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. Food. And you know, uh, we were talking earlier to officials out here. They tell us that this is the 15th year for Oktoberfest, and it grows every year. One of the best parts about Oktoberfest are all the people who come out here to visit. Yeah, a big crowds coming out here, especially tomorrow, Saturday being yeah. the big day. Our Chandler Morgan is uh, also here live with us at Oktoberfest at Uchi Creek on Fort Benning, uh, catching up some folks enjoying the celebration. So, Chandler, uh, what are you up to right now? Jason Barbara, that's right, all the folks that come out, the great music here behind us. I'm actually joined by Monica Wright and Petra Henderson. And Petra, you're actually the local president of a German club. Tell us about that. Okay, yes, I'm the president of Club Heimatland. Club Heimatland is twice every second Thursday of the month. Uh, we have the club for the last 44 years, and uh, we meet, we mingle, we talk German, and everybody who is welcome to come over who speaks and listens to German, and you don't have to be a German citizen, and we donate to several organizations. One of them is the Bettered Women, the other one is Ronald McDonald House, and then we have Kim Joy. So you are enjoying yourself and also donating to great causes. What's so special about this event that you can come out and enjoy and really kind of get to practice all of the things that you meet for? Well, the Oktoberfest is well known in Germany and we meet with German people and American people here. We have fun, we drink a little beer, we eat a little food, and we gather and dance. Absolutely. And one more time, just in case folks want to come out and meet, where can they meet? We can meet at 4026 Macon Road, St. Matthew's Lutheran Church every second Thursday. The next one is August, I mean, November the 8th at 6 o'clock. St. Matthew's Lutheran Church. All right, thank you so much, Petra and Monica. And these are just some of the folks that are coming out to enjoy themselves at Oktoberfest. We're going to have much more, including a story about the local brew here at Oktoberfest, so you don't want to miss that. That's coming up at 6. We'll send it back to you. Ha, ha, ha.
All yeah. right, thanks very much, uh, <laughs> Chandler. And uh, you know, uh, we, I was I was thinking about the fact that there's a keg <laughs> tapping ceremony about 20 minutes from now, starting. Uh, and uh, I think one of the Fort Benning officials were telling us he was going to show us how to how to polka dance and yeah. yodel and all kinds of things. I think you were also things. thinking about sausages just before Chandler oh, just, finished. He was I, talking about sausages. Can I sausages? get it like uh, some popcorn <laughs> or some? So so good out here and uh, again it's just a, a great atmosphere a great place to bring the whole family it continues until sunday and we're going to be back with much more here from oktoberfest at uchi creek on fort benning coming up after the break All right, thanks very much, Laura. Yeah, it's nice weather out here. I mean, it's starting to really feel like yeah, fall. You know, for so. sure, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get to our live interview in just a little bit with a German liaison for Fort Benning. But first, you know, uh, it's been 100 years since Germany and the United States were at war, and uh, things have definitely changed a lot since then. Yeah, and they are continuing now to, to, to do combative, like, courses to, 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 to look at the ways that they can continue to work together. And let's take a look. Denise Mosley, our photojournalist, uh, had a little bit more about this for us. Take a look. They do a really good job of having a combat, the combat mindset, um, and they use they use different methods to basically keep you on edge, and uh, basically just changing the situation so it makes you react under a stressful situation. They do a really good job of that, and then also they have um, lots of weapons transition where they're making you work with a bunch of all your tools, you know, your, your primary weapon system, your secondary weapon system, your knife, and they're transitioning to each one of those and become proficient at that. So I, we're, we're really uh, excited about uh, maybe uh, experimenting, experimenting with that in our course. The first two weeks is basically to establish a baseline of, of their tactics, how they do hand-to-hand -hand and close quarters combat, and then this is the practical application part where you put it into live scenario-based training. Seven to go. What's going on? So this has never been this exchange from the hand-to-hand -hand combat program. It's never been done before. Um, obviously, the upper chain of command, uh, Melody Vanderbilt, has uh, had a big deal to do with this partner exchange. And then the uh, work of both the branch chiefs, me and uh, Master Sergeant Bauer, uh, boots on the ground, making the uh, making the exchange happen. Thank you so much, Denise. And joining us right now is Lieutenant Colonel Alex Sauer. He's the German Army liaison here at the Maneuver Center of Excellence. So good to have you. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Lieutenant Colonel Sauer. Tell me about uh, what is your job here in terms of uh, uh, bringing things together in terms of uh, you know Germans and the Americans and the and military. So my main mission is uh, to make the information exchange, to show the American Army what is the current situation, the German Army and otherwise. Yeah. So this is the main situation to explain every side of the Atlantic the advantages of the opposite system yeah. and uh, try to appetize them to uh, use the other part. Talk about Oktoberfest and what this uh, celebration means to you and kind of how it compares to how you guys celebrate in Germany. The Oktoberfest was when I was a small kid only in Munich, when I was a young guy in Bavaria, when I was a young man in Germany and now as a middle-aged man it's all over the world. And for me, it's an excellent um, ambassador for the German culture. And I'm proud that the whole Chattahoochee community celebrates the culture of my country. Right. Makes me proud. Is it, you think it's pretty authentic here? I mean, you, you smell the food and you see the yodeling, all the competitions and everything? When I entered the area, it felt like home. Yeah. It's really very similar. Yeah. And there's so much to see and do. And I know a lot of times people think of an Oktoberfest, they think of a German celebration. They may think of beer, and beer is a big part of it, but there's so much more, right? <laughs> it's beer, it's, uh, but the most important part is staying together, have fun, listen to the celebrating your culture. You know, sometimes we have uh, cultural influence from all over the world in Germany, but uh, in those days we focus on ourselves and show the world how we are. 
Absolutely. And I like that. And bringing Fort Benning and the whole community together. So it's, it's, it's a great event, and uh, we appreciate you being here today. Thanks very much, Lieutenant Colonel. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good to have you. Yeah. Okay. All righty. And we've and been talking about how great the weather is mm -hmm. out here, and it's uh, it feels a lot more like the kind of weather you would expect for Oktoberfest, more fall-like for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, nice out here, and uh, hopefully it'll stay that way. And uh, meteorologist Lauren Lenahan joins us now with more on, uh, I know you were trying some food earlier, so uh, hopefully uh, bring some <laughs> of that over here to us, Lauren. Jason's on. Hungry, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know, guys, after digging into that pretzel, I'm not feeling quite so famished now. We did, I did manage to get a pretzel with some cheese, but I mean, there's lots of great food here at the Fort Benning Oktoberfest. So I've seen some schnitzel, some bratwurst. We got a lot going on here, even just some good old fashioned funnel cakes and ice cream. Can't be mad about that. And we've got, of course, the beer garden behind me as well. So a lot of fun stuff going on here this evening, Oktoberfest this weekend. And the weather, pretty nice tonight. Tomorrow, though, will be a different story. We've got a cold front coming through. Make sure you have the WTVM weather app with you this weekend to track that cold front coming in and that much cooler air on the way. So for tomorrow, temperature is going to be much milder in the morning than what we've seen the past couple days. We're talking 60s in the morning, and then as we get into tomorrow afternoon, kind of topping out in the mid-70s. Those clouds are going to keep our temperatures pretty moderated, a little cooler in the afternoon and a little warmer in the morning. But for tonight, not looking too bad. Your sports overtime game of the week. Hardaway at Columbus. We are looking probably at low 70s right around kickoff. Kind of very similar to where we are right now. I think we're going to stay dry this evening, though, but still holding on to more clouds than sun. Tomorrow, that front coming through is going to be bringing us a chance for showers. We're talking highs topping out in the mid-70s, but the big change will be here by Sunday morning. 40. So it is going to be pretty chilly on Sunday. Not too bad in the afternoon 60s, but if you haven't brought a jacket out yet this season, you're definitely going to want to do it on Sunday. Going to be the coolest air we've seen thus far this year. We are seeing some 60s in some of our northern counties. That's due to the cloud cover that's been sticking around. And you can see that here on our satellite and radar. We've had some clouds in place across north and central Georgia. Some more clouds beginning to move in ahead of that cold front. That's going to be the pattern we're going to see overnight, transitioning to mostly cloudy skies. You can see the rain associated with that front northwest of our area beginning to cross over now into the Mississippi River Valley. We're not expecting a lot of rain with this front, but just know there is a 30% chance of some light rain showers for tomorrow. Again, in the morning, we're going to be waking up a little more milder, a little muggier than we've been the past couple days with temperatures in the 60s across the Chattahoochee Valley. So not looking at 50s tomorrow morning, but we're talking 40s potentially for Sunday morning, but we got to get through that front coming through tomorrow first. Overall, more clouds than sun tomorrow, and I think our best chance of seeing some showers going to be as we go into the afternoon. So for your forecast here, your next nine days on nine. For tomorrow, that's when we got that 30% chance of rain, but Sunday and Monday looking beautiful. But uh, for this meteorologist, it's a little on the chilly side. We're going to be seeing 40 Sunday and Monday morning going into next week. It looks like we could see some wetter weather later on in the week. But first, let's embrace this fall front that is coming through. Some of the coolest air we've seen since last winter. So I hope you all are ready for it. From 10 to Barbara, 8, Jason. Okay. All right, thanks very much, thanks, Lauren, Lauren, and uh, a lot of great activities here. And then, uh, you know, it's continuing all weekend long as part of this centennial celebration for and the, the Army. The music really makes you want to, like, oh, <laughs> make you move. Poke, poke dancing. Uh, I love your dancing, our, our, our Jason. Our camera operators so are funny. dancing it as well. It makes me laugh. You know, and we've got some, uh, <laughs> this happens from 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. Yeah. tomorrow. So it's a big event, and they've got uh, music. And tomorrow's uh, the big day, too. Yeah, Most people come Bavarian tomorrow. Bavarian Yodelers, the Sun and Shine Express, yeah. if I'm pronouncing that right. And uh, he said that the Bavarian Yodelers are, the Yodelers are actually from Germany oh, so wow. they're authentic so that's that's great can you yodel I, I cannot I cannot <laughs> yodel <-y> <laughs> that's very good eh? that's good that's good yeah <laughs> all right so we're gonna be back with much much more uh, coming up uh, right here live from Oktoberfest in Uchi Creek at Fort Benning right after this break you hit it I knew he wanted to do it <laughs> Welcome back. We are live tonight on the road at Oktoberfest on Fort Benning, and uh, they are rolling out the 
That's right. <laughs> Something. Oh, and doing a little yodeling right <laughs> now. <laughs> Sounding great out here. It's a, it a great family fun event that runs through Sunday. Yeah, and they have us uh, the, some races happening tomorrow, a 10K and a 5K. And it's only $5 for adults and free for 17 and under, so and it's a great event for the whole family. Everyone emphasize it is definitely family friendly. They've got rides and all kinds of great food and authentic costumes, so great to be here. And we're going to have more from a live, from a keg tapping uh, coming up on the news at 6. We'll see you live from Oktoberfest in just a few in minutes. In a couple minutes, yeah. games. It's really an event for the whole family and this is celebrating 100 years the centennial for Fort Benny because actually the, today is the birthday today is created the, uh, uh, just day, yeah, yeah. towards the end of World War One. Yeah, that's right. 100 years of Fort Benning. The story behind the celebration of Oktoberfest really has a rich history and with Fort Benning celebrating the centennial year, a celebration like no or other is in order. Yeah, great celebration with food and drinks and all that. And our Chandler Morgan is out and about live here at Oktoberfest uh, with more on this celebration, Chandler. Jason, Barbara, you said it, that's right. One of the best things that's here right now is actually the keg tapping. It just started, so we're gonna take a live listen in. There's several kegs right here that they're about to tap, so we'll take a live listen in to hear the ceremony right now. You hear a bit of the ceremony. They're getting ready to do the, the keg tapping, which <laughs> is the official kickoff of Oktoberfest. The beer starts to flow, as they say. Yeah, and the event goes on all weekend. It goes from 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. tomorrow. And we've talked about how it's such a great family event, only $5 mm -hmm. admission for adults. And uh, so uh, it's it's not just about the beer. It's about all just yeah. you know, being together as a family. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and the costumes are beautiful. Everything is uh, authentic German food and, and music and, and, and entertainment. So it is great. And the weather tonight has been beautiful so will this fall like weather stick around for the entire weekend let's send things over right now to meteorologist Lauren Linehan with a look at what we can expect hey there Lauren so Fort Benning turning 100 years old today and the Army installation has a variety of ceremonies to celebrate that history and I know my co-anchor here Jason Den has got to take part in one of those events today. It was early this morning newsletter yeah. and I was the only media to take part in the centennial run that happened at 6 a.m. I was honored to run the nearly five miles alongside the more than 3,000 soldiers. How's everybody doing today? Tracking about about 3,300 or so. Uh, represents all of Fort Benning. We had a couple units in the field doing some training. We will run about 3.3 miles. And what I'm going to ask the soldiers, you know, kind of put themselves back in time 100 years ago with some soldiers running these streets. A lot of them were probably clay back then, running in boots and stuff. And they did the beginning of the future. <laughs> gives you a perspective and an honor to be here and, and run the same paths that others have run before you. To the playground. General Brito is standing right at the entrance giving high fives out. We're going to start together, we're going to finish together, sing real loud, be highly motivated. Good 
got some good tunes out here. The cadence. Different units. Rock and roll everybody. We had quite a few cadences going because the group is so large that you hear a few different things depending on where you're at. I slept to my right and I slept to my left. There's a lot of people that have sacrificed so much to be here and waking up a little bit earlier in the morning to get out here and have a little bit of fun with some PT. What unit are you guys? I'm Jack Orr. I'm Coach Jack Orr. 1918. Uh, they had a vision just around the World War One time. Uh, what was started in Camp Bedding downtown near Macon Road and turned to Fort Bedding a few, few years later that. Left! <laughs> 